This is the 2020 Nissan Frontier. Now, obviously, you're probably not gonna get something like this at the dealer, but it might surprise you what you can get off of this truck. First, let's get the elephant in the room out of the way. Yes, the Frontier has not seen a major redesign since 2004, so there are lots of things that will uh, look familiar here. Regardless of what's dated, this is actually gonna be a special review. Not only do I get to talk about the V6 powertrain that's new in here, but I get to review some brand new aftermarket parts from Nissan Motorsports. Nismo re-enters the off-road scene with upgrades for the Frontier, Titan, and even your discontinued Xterra. Yes, for those of you who don't know, Nissan has a storied history in off-road motorsports, winning 19 championships, some of those in the hard-body King Cab Desert Racer. Dang, that thing looks rad. So one other really killer thing about this review, I get to take this Pro 4X Frontier on the most aggressive test drive I can think of, the Rebel Rally. The Rebel is a seven-day off-road map and compass navigation rally where competitors don't get to use any GPS device to navigate to over 150 checkpoints covering 2,000 kilometers. This is going to be a tough week that will be a great test of the Frontier's new engine as well as these new Nismo parts. The Frontier's new powertrain really makes up the big news for this model year. A 3.8 liter V6 now powers this mid-sized truck and I can tell you right out of the gate, the extra horsepower feels substantial. So we're well into the competition and yes, I've lost both my voice and a screw to my sunglasses, but we carry on. I can't stress enough how much more confident this truck feels with the new powertrain. I get a really good burst of power at tip-in and I never feel like I'm really struggling to move. This is a huge improvement on this vehicle, especially if you're driving it in tough terrain. Helping it along is a new nine-speed automatic transmission that replaces the old five-speed auto and five-speed manual options. This is the same transmission on the Titan, and I don't mind it. For normal driving, it shifts through the first three gears pretty quickly to get into the cruising gears. Shifts are smooth and efficient. Great. But if I'm looking for a little bit more power on dirt, then I'll take matters into my own hands and just shift with the stick shifter. It gives me a little bit more torque on the low end of the rev range and definitely gets me out of some tricky situations in dirt or sand. The transmission finally moves this truck into the modern age. As a result, gas mileage numbers are improved over the last V6 engine. Even up steep and rocky ascents, the power feels great. I'm in low gear now and it feels effortless. The extra low end torque adds confidence to the Frontier that just wasn't there before. And thankfully, this truck is still pretty small and relatively light. Hey, let's keep it that way, Nissan. Our truck gets equipped with a beefed up off-road suspension Nismo's put together with Bilstein. There are heavy duty coils and shocks up front and reservoir shocks in the rear for the Frontier's leaf springs. So right off the bat, I can tell you that this suspension feels Fantastic. I'm driving on the road right now and we're on 32 inch KO2 tires. And while I can hear them, I really can't feel them the way that I would with a normal suspension. But what's it like on dirt? The extra travel, especially in the rear with my Leafs and the remote reservoir shocks, really helps smooth out the bumps, especially when we're on river washes and uneven whoops in the desert. Over washboard, it's stellar. We never had to compromise speed for comfort. I say we because this is Sedona, this is our team navigator, and she's such a badass. Without her, I would literally be completely lost. That's a hit. With the Nismo suspension package, you get up to two inches of lift, so we also get a little bit of extra clearance underneath us to get over bigger obstacles if we need to. Obviously, we've got some other upgrades that can really make a difference on the trail. For the lighting package, Nismo teamed up with Rigid Industries for light bars and pod lights. These things will light up the desert like the 4th of July if you need it. We also get a steel bumper that's the first in a series for Nissan trucks and SUVs. We have recovery points that are super important for what we're doing out here just in case anything goes wrong. And we get a worn winch. So the bumper up front is a little bit heavy and it has affected our clearance on the front end. Now with any off-roading, we've just been really careful and picking our lines pretty safely. 
but I gotta tell you, it's given us a lot more protection up front and we think it looks pretty cool to boot, so we're gonna keep it. Maybe my favorite Nismo bit Nissan's making available is our 17-inch off-road wheels. These six lug suckers are outstanding looking. All Nismo parts will be available through dealers later this year. So there are some extra parts that we brought along to the party that are not actually part of the Nismo package. These Recaro seats are BFG Goodrich KO2 tires, Max tracks for recovery, which we definitely needed, and this ARB Elements refrigerator so that we could have cold drinks and most importantly, cheese on the road. Hey Nissan, make a fridge standard. Other upgrades that do come on your Frontier now include a standard push button start, leather shift knob, an adjustable steering wheel, and power windows. The true test for us is always on the last of this seven day rebel marathon in the Imperial Sand Dunes, otherwise known as Glamis. Out here, the driving can get really technical and having enough power in your truck, especially when you're a bit of a heavier vehicle, when you're not like a side-by-side -side that's super light, is crucial. The V6 powers over dunes without feeling burdened or like it's struggling at all. I totally appreciate that I don't have any turbo lag to deal with. The second I put my foot on the throttle, I get moving. And one bit of bragging, the Frontier was the only vehicle in the competition to make it to the top of Oldsmobile Hill. That's right, go us. She got sand in her shoes. <laughs> While yes, we do expect to see a complete upgrade to the Frontier coming hopefully soon, the new V6 powertrain is a very solid step in the right direction. After all, the Frontier remains the smallest and one of the most affordable mid-sized trucks on the market. And a lot of buyers are looking for exactly that. So how did the truck do? In a word, it was great. The short wheelbase kept us really nimble and easily maneuverable around tight spots, and the Nismo suspension kept us really comfortable over a long, grueling week. For all of our efforts, Team Wild Grace came in fourth, and we are so stoked we can't even believe it. The Frontier ended up being the first truck to cross the finish line. Our Frontier totally proved to be a very worthy third teammate over the last really tough seven days. And with a new powertrain, the Nismo aftermarket parts, and hopefully a full redesign coming soon, Nissan still really has a player in the mid-sized truck market. So now you tell me, where would you test yours?